we're messing with the champ. Come on, last week. But we're messing with the champ. Come on, last week. But we're messing with the champ. Come on, last week. But Hello and welcome. It's Friday night. I guess y'all ain't had nothing better to do, so you're here with me. Let's have some fun. How are y'all doing? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's up, brother? What's up, sir? I got to go over to the, the regular YouTube channel because I can't see anything right now. Um, oh, no. Uh, no, it's my stuff over here. Oh, so okay. It ain't you. It's me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's going on, everybody? <laughs> What's going on? I know folks have thought, thought, I guess they thought we had, uh, they've been, we've been put on the FBI's wanted list or something because we just, <laughs> we've been gone for a while. Read that shit down there. I'm coming to get you. No. Oh, that's playing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hold on. Let me get over here. Why can't I see this stuff? Oh, Lord. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, let me get over here. I don't want the, I don't need the audio though, because I don't want that audio playing. Okay, I think I am here. I can hear um, you fine, brother. Okay, good, good. Um, let me see. Mm -hmm. Hello, everybody. I'm glad to see y'all. I've been away for a while. I need to rest, get my mind together. Oh, there's a lot been happening to me and other peoples. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, it's time. It's time. I need to bring up my, uh, I'm going to bring up my, uh, my list of topics. I need to find me my list so I can throw some stuff at you. And go ahead, God. You know, we, we Queen get in a little uh, Tasha K and her stuff. Uh, uh, people around here uh, 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 saying that they, they got me fired and all that good stuff. Man. <laughs> and, and, <laughs> that seems to be a lot go of that going around, saying they made people lose their jobs and things. And, and people still employed. They just, oh, either they decided to get another job or they they still working the same job and lying. Uh, how, how a person with outstanding warrants can get somebody fired is beyond me. But anyway. Yeah, we'll talk about it. We, and and uh, Timothy Norman, or whatever that boy name is, Sweetie Pie's son, he going to jail forever. Did he it say forever? Did they give him life? Oh, uh, no. His sentencing's December 15th. Oh, uh, God. I hope they give him the... I want him to be in jail for the rest of his they life. They took the death penalty off the table, unfortunately, but he going to probably get life without parole. Yeah, yeah. They probably did that for the sake of his mother, uh, but she'll be having to put money on his books. But when she died, that nigga screwed. That's all I want to say. Oh yes, 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 yes. Because whoever she lead the money to, they gonna dry. It's gonna dry up real quick for him. They ain't well, here's the thing: it. she only had two kids. The other son dead. He in jail for the rest of his life. Uh, the only son that the other brother had is uh is now um now dead. So that that part of the family tree is off. And now the only person that's in line to get anything is uh is a uh, a. Uh, uh, his uh Tim Norman's grandson. I mean Norman's son. That's the only one in line to get anything. Mm. Well, uh, all I'ma say is if she's smart, she'll she'll will it to her, one of her sisters who's been running a different one of those restaurants or had a smaller restaurant. So she has a little bit of mm, experience. That's right, with that. she got sisters. Right. And I think she should just she should just leave it to her sister. And then once her sisters take over the money and stuff, they can just cut Tim's ass right on off and oh, let him, and let him clean hell. up. Yeah. Let him clean toilet bowls uh, for, you know, a honey bun or whatever. That's what I feel. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, that's right. So he do. Tim has son with the with that other girl. The other girl that left. Yeah, him. yeah. So the grandma might leave some money to him. That's probably what she's gonna end up doing is leaving it to her son, because you know she's all about her family. Now that's one thing I can say about Robbie, uh, Miss Robbie. She is about her family, but I don't know if she wanted to leave it the money to her because the son because of the the mom. She might end up, you know, putting some stipulations on that so the mom can't touch it. You feel me? In a trust fund. Mm-hmm. Yes, indeed. So, man, what's been how you how you feeling? First of all, 
Oh, now that's the wrong question, Daryl. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know how some days you just you just have to. You know how it is, Daryl. I don't even need to go into it. You already know. I and sure I, do. Yeah, and I'm just not even. You know, I I have a lot of anxiety, um, and I've been having a lot of anxiety. So I'm just I'm trying to like you know just get myself together, and you know just you know, just work my way through whatever my situation is, you know, because I don't like, you know, I'm not one of those people who, you know, complain about my situation. I'll just work through my stuff. You feel me? Yeah. You know, so that's just me. Mm-hmm. Lord, Christine, why Jesus? Oh, Lord, well, he does. She ain't lying. He is shaped kind of weird. He, he got childbearing hips. Yeah, he's shaped like he wear lots of crowns. <laughs> ah! Ah! You caught me. You got me. You got me. You got me. You got me. Oh, really? I didn't know the son, uh, Norman, so was autistic. Wow. Oh, well, that well, I'm sorry. Trust fund it, definitely now. Trust fund definitely now. Yeah, That's but you sure. get, but you got to look like this. The mom is slow. Something's wrong with her. I don't care what nobody say. Oh, and, which one? The, the one dad. that he had the baby by? Yes, that woman. Ain't something ain't right with her. Something ain't right with her. It really mm. isn't. And when you got two of them chromosomes that don't just mesh together, you know what I'm saying? Your baby oh. is destined for a bad situation. That's all I can say. Oh, pretty pussy pink lips, baby. <laughs> yeah. Lord, have mercy. <laughs> There's just been going on so much stuff going on. Yeah. Jokers that hate each other doing doing lives together and, and just so they can talk about somebody else and, and blame people for other stuff that they've been doing and cry and talk about, oh, Jim and Tammy really need you. And then you all of a sudden, now you got million dollar lawsuits against you. 20 million. Ooh, that's a lot of uh arts and crafts got to be made yeah that's a lot of hot that's a hot a lot of hot glue (laughs) (laughs) a lot of hot glue and rhinestones oh lord have mercy i don't think even though i don't think that's gonna go anywhere though i really don't that that lawsuit is that's gonna hit the ground i wonder will they get a mediation well you know what i just don't think that lawsuit's gonna go anywhere it's just not gonna go anywhere because there's no purpose in it you know, I mean, now I did hear some very salacious things that people were saying, yeah. but here's here's the thing: that guy, the lead attorney, his whole title of his video called "The Man a Fraudster and a Scam Artist." Well, I don't you know can if- do that if your if that's, if that's your opinion. Now you can say, well, based on my opinion, I think. Well, you that- can say that, but you can't. In my opinion, I don't know that you could put in a title. That this no. person is a fraud. I don't think you can do that. Yeah, you got to have some evidence. Yeah, you can't just be going around but, saying that. But stuff. if you call the vlogger, mm-hmm. the vlogger got the receipts, so <laughs> then you can speak from a place of truth. I'm just saying, allegedly. Yeah, it's a very inter. I, I, I man, it's a very interesting situation. That's all I'll say. I just know one thing. Uh, a lot of people are going to find out where they stand in breadbasket land now because ain't nobody going to pay their legal fees. And they're going to have to do something. They're going to do something strange for some change. Uh, uh, legit, you might look down there and see them on uh, Bush Garden Boulevard down there twerking. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised the way some of these people are going. I, I just would not be surprised. <laughs> hey. You go out here. I told y'all, and y'all didn't listen to me. I want you to read that. I told y'all they were lying. The truth is starting to come out now. But I said this a long time ago. When that Tasha K verdict with Cardi B came down, it was going to be a game changer in the social media universe. You cannot go out here and lie on people and nobody going to not check you on it. And right. now, when I mean not check you on it, I mean take your tail to federal court. Because you, before that gal got out here, everybody had their back up. They were big, bad. Oh, I'm going to say this and, and da 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 that and da 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 that. Now, now people are starting to serve your tail. And now your channels is getting snatched. And your source of income from them Google checks is getting snatched. Now you got to go out and get a regular day job. And if you don't have no educations and know how to read them or them thing called books and analyze and get you a job, you stuck. Yeah. And, and you know, all of this trying to prove 
you know, stuff to people on the internet. Let me, let me, you know, one thing that the last couple of years has definitely taught me mm. um, is the fact that if you have a life, if you have a life that is substantial and that is actually doing something for people, you know, I don't have anything to prove to people. You know, the mere fact that when you let a person into your personal space or your personal life, mm-hmm. you know, you're just, you're just, in my opinion, you know, it's a privilege to be let into someone's life, right? When you right. get to know somebody and somebody lets you into their life, you know, it's a privilege. But when mm-hmm. you access a person's information and you're just all about trying to find out every single thing about a person, right. you know, it just, to me, I don't get it. And I personally, you know, I've just learned, uh, I'm not letting everybody in. Uh, mm-hmm. Let me just put it. Let me put. Let me just put it that way. I let the people in who are supporting the work that I'm doing and the things that I'm doing. But everybody else, if you're not supporting what I'm doing or you don't really care about me per se, I'm not letting you into my life. And most of these people are just looky loose. They're waiting for you to fail. They're waiting for you to, you know, fall on your face. And mm-hmm. you know, they must not know the God that we serve. That's no. They one. sure don't, because we've been covered in the midst of a storm. You know what I mean? It's like, come on. You know, it's ridiculous. And I'm still going to be me. And I'm still going to talk about every single thing that I want to talk about. Mm -hmm. And if they don't like it, that's just too bad. But I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to tell you this. Mm -hmm. Some of these vloggers should just go somewhere and sit down and shut up. Uh, And you you talk too much. Some of y'all just talk too darn much. And you give up too much information. You give up too much stuff. Close your mouth. I'm serious, because if you're not on the, if you're not on your platform calling people frauds, because uh, from what I understand, there's another girl that I really like, because um, you know I'm into the dark skinned girls. Because mm-hmm. there's a, there's another girl on the internet. I think she's a lesbian though, but uh, mm. but uh, what's her name? Uh, Nicki Minaj is actually suing her, mm. and I'm just like Jesus Christ. I'm mm-hmm. like, what are, what's wrong with these people? You know what I'm saying? And I actually like that girl. I mean, I, I, there's something about her that I like. You just like you know. that girl. <laughs> well, I, 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 I'm going to try to keep it. I'm going to try to keep it uh, at least in C-17 tonight. I, I, I said this our first night back. I ain't going to go okay. all the way. Like, all right. I, I'm me. I can't say you. I'm saying me. Oh, okay. Cause, but I really but, like her. I ain't going to lie. I think her name. Yeah, nosy, nosy somebody. That's her, yeah. that's her real screen name? I think so, yes. Wow, that's catchy though. It's crazy, but yeah. it's catchy. Oh, I love her, dude. I'm not oh, gonna lie. Wow. Every video check. of hers that I've seen, I really is like. Is she her. funny? Is she and funny she, or she's she just very smart. direct? She's huh? very direct and funny, and she's ve- I think she's really smart, and I enjoy hmm. her. I really do. And I was like, because a lot of people don't know, you know, I'll go around YouTube and watch other YouTubers because I'm not, you know, that kind of person. I watch everybody. You know, Mm -hmm. if I if I, you know, something comes across, Mm -hmm. you know, and I just be like, oh, but I really like her. I think she's funny. She Mm -hmm. can't stand Tasha Kato. Oh, shoot. That's a lot of people. Oh, she can't stand. I I heard from a little birdie that she did moved out the country. Oh, she ain't gone nowhere. But she ain't gone nowhere. Her ass and Mm -hmm. her moved in the other bathroom. Well, I had Mm -hmm. because she got five million dollars that she got to pay. And now she's claiming she could pay it. Uh huh. I guess so. now before all... you know, she was saying she couldn't pay. It. Yeah, but if if each one of her subscribers, even if they really are a million subscribers, if each one of them gave her five dollars, her bill would be paid. Right. But 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 we know that people be buying subscribers. Well, so... she has a whole app, and I think they have to subscribe to that app. Mm-hmm. And she's now starting to go live, like on inside of her app, and mm-hmm. you can only access her stuff through the app. So I'm sure people are paying for it. Mm-hmm. And in order for you to, uh, you know, to get it, you know, it is what it is. And I don't knock her for what she's doing. Listen, here's the thing: you could be the most hated person on the internet, mm-hmm. and I'm gonna be sitting over here laughing, going, "They still making money, and they're still putting out content, and they're still still doing what they need to do." You understand mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Now, I wouldn't trust her. I don't understand mm-hmm. how all of these people are so wild by some of these some people who have like hundreds of thousands of subscribers y'all listen to me and let oh man i didn't come on here to start teaching daryl we're supposed to be talking about something else we just done started, hey, right? hey man <laughs> you know this is a freak i put on there number five whatever we feel like talking about listen here listen here Christine listen Hart, here you're so dang crazy i would never he could see you with the lesbian oh hey. well 
Hey, she might, hey. she might, she might bring Marcel a little hey, something hey, special. I, hey, I, oh, I, he I, might I, have I, to I, get him a California I, king bed, make room. <laughs> Look, come should get on something special. But anyway, room. Um, here's the thing. I think, I think, what was I saying? Y'all done threw me off. Oh, about uh, Tasha K. Mm-hmm. But I just think I, I don't understand why these vlog, why people who have smaller channels. Look up to these people who have all of these larger subscribers. All you have to do is work and learn the YouTube system and grow your channel and put in the work. It just requires work. You know what I mean? And you have to be entertaining and you have to put some good content out there. But a lot of people just don't know how to do that, you know, and they can't do it, especially these fighting people every week. Mm-hmm. You know, all the they want to do is fight. snakes in the basket, they keep right. biting each other. You know, the thing about us, and, and, and this is why going back to who we are, and doing what we do has become so important is because number one, we're, we're talking about different topics and talking about stuff that we like and what we enjoy. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So we don't have to deal with all of that. And we are very entertaining. Sorry. I know a lot of people just mad. Mm. And, and we got you know, smart parts. <laughs> they mad, but you can be mad all you want. Mm-hmm. Cause ain't nothing going to change. Oh yeah. yeah, uh Ebony. Yeah, she but she did put out uh Tasha K was mad the other day. She was hot. I watched that video. She was so mad. She said, Y'all better get to recording this one. Oh yeah. Oh, she wanna oh she getting bold now that she can pay her bill. She was she was looking like a uh like a white mouth mule a minute ago when mm-hmm. she claimed she had no money. Now she figured she got her some money, she can talk a little trash. Yeah, it's been very interesting to watch the dynamic of all of this. I must tell you, because mm-hmm. everybody was friends and oh, this is my mentor and this is my whatever, my part, my colleague, and all that. Now all of a sudden, they can't stand each other, and now all of a sudden, everything that the vlogger was saying seems to all of a sudden be verified. Yeah. Well, um, I mean, I mean, when you go from talking about people to saying that you put penises in your mouth and balls in your mouth <clears throat> you know i mean come on now, dude oh i'm sorry and and then this and then you turn around and say oh i did that after my molestation oh no but it was exploration i thought <laughs> <laughs> Boy, them houses in Virginia gonna start Hold falling down. Oh, I'm you, Jesus. Just... <laughs> Hold <laughs> on, you, Jesus. <laughs> but these dudes is something else on this here internet. I swear uh, they are. Bruh, bruh. Oh, yes, I did, Leah. A white mouth mule. <laughs> A white mouth mule. I'm just saying, you know, and you know, you go from ding- dingleberries. To 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 balls to penises and then here's what the same sad thing about it a lot of these dudes running around here tomorrow you you having sex with men but you're not a homosexual how the hell that work I don't know how that works somebody need to do some ex, some explanation <laughs> I know that's right Shoot. I know that's right who somebody need to do a a, 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 a what's that a a pie chart or, or, or some diagrams or something. Explain, well, explain, but, how, explain that to me. But hold on, and, and I'm gonna get to some other stuff in, in a minute. I'm reading the comments. Hold on, because I swear, Daryl, I wish I was. I wish, I wish. You know what I wish? Because I would be, I would be telling people the whole truth and nothing but the truth. And people are just believing the bull job of some of these vloggers who are always windmilling. It hit, let me tell you something, you all. You need to take it with a grain of salt that every time something happens with certain vloggers, that uh, another vlogger comes out and starts windmilling for them and trying to say that. I can't person... do the women. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't that what was in the video? I was out here. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I, I had to get that in. I'm so glad you segued me into that shit. I've been wanting to do that all week. <laughs> I'm sorry. Thank you, brother. I appreciate that. Yeah, been, you're welcome. I, I had it practice. Too. Like, you got you to gotta put your elbows down by your titty meat and go. But, I was here, out here. but here's the thing. Like, all of these people are out here talking about they windmilling for somebody. Let me tell y'all something. If one vlogger is loaned out here windmilling for another vlogger and always seems to come to that vlogger's rescue. Always. 
you need to prick your eyebrow up and start using some critical thinking and listening to what is being said and done. And don't just believe what the person is saying and throwing out there. Just don't do that. You guys got to use some critical thought because I had to talk to one of them because you guys do know I have I have I have a friend who is a lawyer. Mm -hmm. So I call my friend and I said, because this twenty five thousand dollar thing. Uh, this twenty five thousand dollars thing was really interesting to me because I heard, uh, or it was reported to me that it were paid two times. Okay, but here's the crazy thing: paid and tricked off. Now the story is that the lawyer paid the twenty five thousand. Liar, liar, pants on fire. And I'm sitting here like, wait a minute. And so I called my friend because I was like, okay, I'm like, is that even possible? But my friend cleared it up for me. She said. It is possible for a lawyer to pay a person's uh, money like that. And I said, but why would they do that? Like, what would be the benefit to a lawyer? Think about this. If my client is being sued, what is the benefit for me to pay a, 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 a large sum of money mm -hmm. to keep a court case going? And somebody mm -hmm. said, well, maybe they did it because they made a mistake. Even if the lawyer made a mistake, they still would not need to pay $25,000 to clear up a mistake for a client. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't I don't I don't really get that, especially if the case isn't strong. But now the person is coming out to my oh, I don't want every case. The case. Every hey. case I don't want. Lies. Lies. <laughs> Lies. <laughs> Ain't won nothing. But you, if you won, how would you appeal something to a, a a a higher court, an appellate court if you won in the lower court? But see, when when you got people that follow you that can't read, and you know, as we know that YouTube analytics, your average subscriber is a female between 35, 55, with or without children, single, black, seventh grade education. So you can get by with them lies with them because they can't read and analyze. Yeah, but oh. one thing you can't do is come out and say you put balls in your mouth and dicks in your mouth, and because oh, after because after a while they gon' they gon' they gon' leave you and your platform, and that's why slowly but surely people is trying to come out and tell you who they really, they really are. are, and and they're trying to see if it's gonna stick and if the people gonna stay around. And I've been mm -hmm. telling, and we've been telling y'all for years the mm -hmm. same stuff. It's the same stuff. We done told y'all who these people were. We didn't make it up. You know what I'm saying? And now, slowly but surely, here it comes. Here it their comes. Their main supporter, their main back getter, is now telling you the same thing that we've been saying all along. But watch, they're going to believe this person over the people that have been telling the truth all the time. Listen here, I don't even care about these folks. I really don't. Uh, I'm so I'm so busy over here laughing at them. I am, man. It's been I've been <laughs> dying, and I watched Armand Wiggins. Armand Wiggins had me cracking up. Then he got tried twerking. I said, like, okay, okay, yeah, that's the part. I tell you, he makes it really difficult sometimes to watch. That's why I fast forward, and I never watch him live. I always watch him later. You know what I mean? I always watch him later because that way I can fast forward. But the mm -hmm. thing about him, and I respect Armand because Armand is a hustler. Where everybody yes. else, everybody he's else, intelligent. Yes, he's a smart little joker. Now people be trying to act like Armand, you know, but I, I do, I, I respect Armand. I do. I now I'll tell y'all that because uh, I understand uh, YouTube and I understand the game of YouTube. See, while a lot of these people is over here happy that they done got over the thousand mark, two thousand subscriber mark. Yeah, you know, and oh, oh now wait I a got two thousand subscribers. Uh, uh, y'all don't know what I be dealing with <laughs> offline with all the stress and this pressure. And, and wait a minute. Now me. wait a minute. Now wait a minute daryl y'all remember all the lies they was telling he ain't got no subscribers and they don't have no subscribers and who's watching them and nobody's watching them and blah 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 so when youtube decided to turn on the subscribers so people could see how many subscribers you had aren't y'all amazed that everybody just got so quiet and didn't say mm -hmm. anything else about all them twelve thousand subscribers that some folk had because you know i was on my way shit i'd have probably been at 20 30 thousand subscribers in a couple of months seriously but these mm -hmm. folks but i cut off my channel i stopped more successful youtube channels than these niggas done started and i <laughs> you know what i'm and saying we walked away all summer and still got back in here and people watching us right it's just we tells the truth 
It's insanity, these people. These people are hilarious. And then what you arguing and fighting for? Stop fighting. And why y'all still talking about the same stuff? Come on. Now, we coming over here talking because we haven't been on here in a while about it. But it's yep. hilarious to watch. It's I hilarious. Mean, I, I mean, I be driving and people be sending me links. Look what they see. Look at what they see. But people got mighty quiet when they got served. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Well, hmm. they should be if they're smart. But they're not because they had a whole panel I had to address last week. But guess what? The civil case is coming. Mm. It's just so sad, and I just—I I, I might have to take a step back though, because twenty million kind of bumps everybody else to the front of the line right there. So I'm gonna sit back and see how this happens, because it's gonna be interesting. If, if old girl and, and the move to Morocco, I guess the others are moved to—I uh I don't know—the Sugar Plum Fairyland. I don't know. Red Rover, Red Rover, send a brain cell right over. <laughs> that was for you, Lynn, because I know you like laughing when I say that. So. Uh, <laughs> Mm -mm. Oh, I'm having too much fun cracking up at these fools. But the, let me go back because we talked about so much stuff so fast already, and we only 28 minutes, and we gotta I go know, all the way back. I know, right? Okay, I know, so let's right? go back to Tasha K for a minute. I gotta go uh -huh. back to Tasha K. Okay, so here's my thing with Tasha K. Tasha K is one of the most successful YouTube vloggers that came out of nowhere, right? Mm -hmm. My thing with her is she has the ability to go into places and spaces now that other vloggers cannot go to, right? Mm -hmm. Before she, she got sued, she showed sure did. Right, but I, but even I think she could even still do it, Daryl. A lot of people would still give her an interview. I wouldn't. Uh, I don't I would know. Interview, I would interview. If you're listening, uh, Tasha, call me. Your boy got my number. Call me. I interview you right here and let you talk about whatever you want to talk about. You know, or but don't want to talk. Okay, about. but here's the thing about Tasha K. Mm -hmm. You cannot be a friend to Tasha K just like you can't be a friend to all these other vloggers, right? Right. You know, all of these other vloggers that say we there's no such thing as friends on the internet, right, Daryl? Oh, yeah. We uh, got associates. I got a lot of associates, but I don't have friends. Right. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, and so they say, and so then they just, they, they're compiling information, mm -hmm. trying to, to lamb blast you over the head at a later particular point. They recording your phone calls. They, mm -hmm. they screenshot and everything, right? You know yes. I mean? they, they're doing everything that they can do to later kind of lamb blast you and harm you at a later point. This is, this is right. what Tasha K has done to the people that she claims that she was friends with. Keep that in mind. Every person mm -hmm. that she claims she was friends with from Storm Monroe to Dr. Dingleberry to, <laughs> you know, all of these other folks, you know, she's claimed that, you know, she was friends with these people. And then all mm -hmm. of a sudden she comes out and she's trying to, harm them some kind of way you understand what i mean she comes after them and she's trying to put information out on them no matter if it's true or if it's not true if you are my friend daryl mm -hmm. if you're my friend mm -hmm. my goal is not to hurt you or harm you, you even if we I mean? even if we parted away no. absolutely because even because everybody has seen uh <laughs> mm. the great uh parting of the red sea at the a team <laughs> seen the great part of the sea <laughs> okay and i'm still over here like okay i don't want anything bad to happen to you know per, you know folks right i mm -hmm. want i want kim to be blessed i may not dis i may disagree with kim may not necessarily like what she did but i still don't want no harm to come to her you understand what i'm saying mm -hmm. and so it's just like what kind of people are they to where they could you know just disrespect the other person to the point, but this is a person that you claim to be your friend. Now, to her defense, though, she did what she did after something was done to her with this person. Because uh, when her case got finalized and right. the verdict came down, uh, yeah, everybody person, started moving different. Mm -hmm. Everybody started moving different. Everybody mm -hmm. got ghost on them. And mm -hmm. then this particular person threw her all the way up on the bus, threw some shots at her. Parting shots, I will say. Right. So she, she sat on it for a minute. Yeah, she did. She, she let it <laughs> marinate. The juices wasn't, wasn't fresh smelling either. It started stinking up in her nostril. So right. she said, oh, this is how you want to play me? After I got your back all the time? Well, what about this? What about that? And then went boom, 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 boom. Hey, Roxanne, what's going on? What's going on? Hey, 
Hey, Roxanne, you sound a little, you got a little bit of stuff going on over there. Keep talking so we can get your mic working properly. You good? Roxanne? <laughs> no. No. You got them China headphones on again. Lord of mercy. We can't hear you. We don't even know what you're saying. She must be on the Wi-Fi. Yeah. Oh, she coming back. But old girl got, old girl sat on it. All through the summer, I said, Oh, I kept telling you, I told y'all last right back in the spring, I said, It's gonna get ugly before the year's out. Sat on it, she sat on it, she, she was licking her wounds and trying to look for a uh, change in, in the under the cushions in the couch, whatever she could get together to pay that bill, right? So, so all while she was trying to get her head together and, uh, and get her appeals together, people were taking shots at her, mm. but it hurt her little feelings. When the main person she was bumping for turned her back. So she said, Oh, well, she saved stuff for a rainy day. She said, Well, what about this? What about this? When you said this, what about this? When you sent me this, what about this? So she held on to it because see, when you when you dealing with snakes and you a snake, if you if you this if you get bit at or struck at, you're gonna strike back. So that's what she did. And her her bite, her venom and her bite was a lot bigger. Yeah, because she has far more reach. Hey, Roxanne, you back? Hey. No, 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 you're still chopping up, Roxanne. No. Plug the uh the landline cable in. Now, Roxanne has a very expensive microphone. I don't know why she's not trying to use it. Because uh, whatever she's using is well, not. Well, at least she, she ain't pawing in hers like some <laughs> folks. <laughs> Having a uh having a pop up shop on audio equipment. Oh God, listen here. If somebody got to help you with your light bill, light bill, and oh. your gas, and you out here on the internet talking about attacking people, uh, attacking people, and then you had to pawn half your equipment, and you doing your <laughs> lives with a cell phone. Oh Lord, hey Roxanne. All right, here we go. God help me. All right, here we. Go. That's why you on your cell phone. Uh -huh. She laying in the bed. Mm -hmm. That's why we couldn't hear. Then. Okay, oh. try it again. Hello, Roxanne. I can you hear me. No, we no, cannot. You're gonna have to get up and go to your desk. And plug. <laughs> we cannot hear you. You. I'm gonna tell you what Christine said. Yeah, she she need to get off that metro. That's that boost. Riding logo. on the metro. Y'all remember that eighty song? <laughs> <laughs> so. That girl, see, everybody know her stuff. And, uh, okay, we're going to try it one more time for the crew chip. So, hey. hey. Uh, no. No, it's not going to work there. I quit, y'all. <laughs> it's not going to work because she's trying to do that with that old China headset. <laughs> <laughs> we can't hear you. I know you told me to shut up, though. Go ahead. Now she done left, Lord Jesus. Mm. So when you didn't, when you trying to hide your dirt, and somebody got your dirt, mm. well, I mean, that's I never, what happened. But I never came on the internet to 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 hurt the four people that I'm on the screen with or was on the screen with. You feel me? Like mm -hmm. I didn't go around recording our conversation and recording our text messages and you know that was never it was never right. never thing that came into my mind. Like who are these people? Like what kind of person does this kind of stuff? You have to realize Marcella though, but you keep missing it. I keep bringing it to y'all attention. There's two types of people. There's good people and there's bad people. God got his people. Satan got his. So ain't no in between. Ain't no gray area. You either on this side or you're on that side. And they are legion for they are many. And that's just, I mean, that's just as cut and dry as it gets. These were some, we've been on the attack for two, maybe going on three years by some very evil people. Day in, day night, videos, thumbnails, uh, Twitter, Instagram, Patreon, all this other 
uh, all other kind of attacks. People praying for death of my daddy, death of my dog, all this kind of fools. Been dealing with it, dealing with it. Because we were out here trying to take the high road where they would come back at us with lies. We would come back on them with the truth. And the truth always hit harder than a lie would ever hit. And that's what these people are dealing with now. They're mm -hmm. reaping the heart, the whirlwind of an evil harvest. Well, and I agree with that. Now, somebody asked about this 25000 before I get out of my head. Mm -hmm. I didn't even know that the apparently that some money had been raised twice. I did. I, 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 I did because I, I talked about it. I know you did. But and I, now I, Tasha K. I'm sorry, Tasha K has talked about it. But I didn't I didn't know because I don't really be paying attention to these folks like that. And they really think we do, but we re I really don't. I didn't know that the stuff had been raised two times, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So at the point to win, and I think this is the last time, because the last time is when I started paying attention. When when the money was supposed to be paid to a court, I remember there was a twenty five thousand dollar payment that had was supposed to be paid to a court, and a vlogger had not paid the twenty five thousand. Claimed that they didn't raise the they didn't get all the money, and then I think the lawyer came back and said, "You either lying to the court, or you or you're lying to all of your followers." <laughs> yes. And, that's in a, and that was in a court document where those words were said. Right. So it's public knowledge. So public record. It's public record. So I'm just like, I'm confused. So which 25000 did Olga, uh, or I'm sorry, or, or the lawyer pay? <laughs> you mean what, 25 cent? Which which 25000 did did she Cause, pay? Because remember, the second time my I have a contact that was it. The clerk of the courts, as they said. You know that video we played. Well, right. Okay. And it will Let's go move down. on. Let's you know, move on. But no, no. The description given of the person that went to the window mm. the second time and paid fits the description of somebody that was in a uh, circle. Uh, you know, the audio stuff that I was playing. And, right. And yeah, well, that guy went down there. <sighs> okay. At the behest of the man in New York. Okay. I'm going to move on. Because yes, uh, I'm just I'm just amazed at the lies that's being told at this particular point. Uh, but y'all just do your own homework and research and use y'all brains. That's all. And, re I and realize you heard it from the vlogger first about two years ago. Yeah, it's kind of. Carry on, but carry on. Yeah, yeah. It's for for those good. Bush people, hey Bush people, because I see it's about 150 y'all in here. Please click like and share. Uh, we glad you're here. But so when you go back over there, tell them that I'm the one that broke that story two years ago. But now that that bigger names are starting to come out and everybody talking about that bigger name, just like when I help and the people over here helped a certain person get out of jail. And then when they got what they needed, they act like they didn't know the old vlogger no more. But that's all right. But God saw my heart. The truth is coming out. Praise the Lord. But anyway, back to the show. Yeah, it, it is. It is. It is a shame that people will sell their soul to the devil. Mm. You know, for a dollar bill, mm -hmm. because a lot of what I see a lot of content creators doing is just selling your soul to the devil for a buck. And yeah. these, and some of you, your Google check ain't even that large. Ooh, you you understand what about? I'm saying? So what I don't I don't about? even understand what you're doing. Like, I'm confused by your whole mentality. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I don't yes, I don't sir. get it. I don't get it, but you know, that's it for that. But uh, God bless them. May the Lord bless and keep them. Um, but you know, I mean, you're still trailer park trash. All right. Now moving right <laughs> along. <laughs> you're still trailer park trash. I'm just saying trailer park trash. Oh, you, know, you made my paint. <laughs> just trailer park trash. And they're so afraid to go back to the trailer that they buy unnecessary stuff. They try to they try to impress people who they don't know so they can get into circles that they don't belong in. That and they can't ca hang in. Don't yeah. know which fort to use. Yeah, the character can't keep them in. It, it's just ridiculous. And it's so sad. It's so, so sad. And people will let you in so that they can watch you closely, not necessarily because they like you. They'll they and, and, and that's what a lot of these vloggers are doing. It's still crooked from my view, uh, Daryl. Uh, I'm just here to tell you that's what they do. That's what they do. Yes, what I'm gonna do. That's exactly what they do. What and you know you're doing uh you got your chair too close to that wall. I know I hit it when you made me laugh. It's all <laughs> your fault. It's all your fault. You almost made me tear my paint up. 
one of my subscribers. Yeah, you're gonna have all of this high blood pressure because you want to make a mud bang video. No, all jokes aside though, man, I had a dang stroke. Yeah, that's when I went to the hospital. Um, I found out I had a TIA. Mm. Whatever that means, TI, the rapper, whatever. I had a stroke. And my lawyer has the documentation, by the way. Because uh you can't be stressing people out. You can't be abusing the elderly, as as I was called. Mm. Yeah, you stress people out with false allegations and you cause them to have a stroke and the blood pressure go through the roof and they get sick. And you know, they happen to be the main source of income for their family, and you stress them out. Mm. Documentation. Documentation. Yeah. It's just unfortunate. You know, that's why it's just best to just leave people alone. I mean, you can have your conversations. I don't I don't care uh yeah. about people talking about me. They can talk about me till Jesus coming. It don't mean nothing. I know that's right. You can talk about me all you want. Yeah, don't bother me not one Free bit. You think, you think it do, but, but it don't. But just don't lie on me. You can say you can say right now, I hate Daryl Guts. I get that. And some people ain't on my Christmas list either. I get that. But don't come out here saying that uh I don't know that I've done something that you know for a fact I haven't done or I, that I, I I went to jail for pimping, drug dealing, drug using, drug selling. You know that stuff wasn't true. Now you got the answer for it in civil court. Mm -mm. All right. It. So, mm -mm, mm -mm. It's just too much. Uh, Daryl, I don't even know. We're going to make it out. We're probably going to go over. Listen here. Uh, Tim Norman. Let me let me get back to Tim Yeah, let's Norm. get Tim Norman. I ain't worried about Queen Elizabeth. That's an old rich lady. That no, I'm going to get back to her old ass. To be, a me, to be a million years old. Uh, uh, Tim Norman. Tim Norman uh -huh. deserves to spend the rest of his life behind bars. Uh, if you, you know, I don't know why anybody would let him out amongst the public to wreak havoc on the public under any circumstances. Uh, I just don't feel like he would do any good to the public, you know, you know, other than, you know, running a, a buffet and frying chicken and stuff like that, you know, he doesn't, honestly, what did Tim do? Like, uh, you know, you understand what I'm saying? What did he do? He didn't mm -hmm. do anything in life. If it wasn't for Miss Robbie, that boy would have probably been a, a criminal robbing people and hitting people over the well, head. Well, he went to prison, wasn't fuck back at one time. He did serve time. That's in what I'm saying. He does. The boy is not. He's just a bomb. bomb. He's just a bomb. He's always been a bomb. <clears throat> He's just a bomb whose mama fell into some money and, and, and did some with her cooking ability. But let's just be honest. From from stories that I've read, watched, I don't uh, I try to weigh stuff, evidence versus what I see in here. Um that woman been a hoodie chick for a long time. She, she, they, it was rumored that she was linked up with Ike Turner before and during Tina Turner's she run. She probably was. Uh, so, Ike was sleeping with all of them. The Ike cats? Come on. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm so, sure he was. Let's just say she ain't been no quiet girl now. She didn't got older and got mellow, mellowed more in her old age, but they... From what from what I've been seeing, she's been an alley cat for a while. So if you're yeah. an alley cat and you got two street kids because you was an alley cat because you wasn't never home or wasn't really raising them, the streets raised them. So but I respect her hustle though. You know, I, I do. I, I, I her business her sense, I respect that. I don't yeah, know nothing about her personal her. life. I know that's a cussing old light skinned woman though. Yeah, but hey, it is what it is. And she 80 something years old and she still looked good. I'm just saying. Yeah, but she got plastic surgery though. Yeah, know? she did. I don't care. Uh, she and she got and she got a boyfriend like 50, I wish some of these other people would get some uh some oh, plastic surgery. Shit. That oh, way they lift shit. up their titties because you talking about you breaking this and breaking silence and breaking <laughs> cultures of this. No, you need to break out of a scalpel and, and have the doctor oh. to go around the nipple and, oh, and, and stuff shit. it with some saline and lift that shit up because oh, it's just, oh, I'm just oh, it's a whole damn. mess. That's all. I'm saying <laughs> that's damn, all I'm saying. Damn, damn, you need some vaginal rejuvenation. <laughs> no, <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> okay, I'm just saying. Okay, okay. You sitting okay. over there talking about folks, and what really kills me, folks, is following some of the most worst people on the planet, and they're literally legitimizing these people in their foolishness. It's incredible. But see, idiots are led by other idiots that are a little bit more boisterous. Well, I want to thank y'all, all these followers in this chat. 
I want to thank y'all so much for being so smart, so intelligent. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, you keep all us for on, using you keep, your brain. Right. And you keep us on our toes and make us do research. Yes. Because if, if we slow and y'all slower, Lord, help us all. <laughs> so when, when y'all catch us doing something wrong, y'all pull us to the side, like, hey, Daryl, I read this and you go read this link. And you see me link on, oh, yeah, you know, I said something wrong last week. This is what it really was. Or, or either we catch it during the show. So y'all got smart parts too. So that's why we over here together because we all got smart parts. Yeah, I just I just love you guys and thank y'all so much for your love and support. Um, again, I just want to I just want to reiterate that and thank y'all for just being so smart because y'all are paying attention. Because I get emails and I get text messages from, from folks all the time, and mm -hmm. I know I know y'all paying attention. Now that mm -hmm. I do know, mm -hmm. and we are slowly being vindicated. Slowly, yes, Lord, we are over and, and over and again. again. And the truth is coming out. And guess what? It's coming out, and it's going to cost them more than they tried to cost us yeah, financially you, and yeah. otherwise. But you know what, too? They are causing this on themselves. If they would just shut the hell up, yes, sir. nobody would even know how stupid they really are. And they still well, some of, them, some of them, I ain't going to lie, Marcel, just facial expressions alone look like you could tell they eat paint, paint chips and shit and pick their <laughs> navel and pick their navel and lick their finger like that. You know they slow. So they don't even have to talk. You just look at them. Now, speaking of one that looked like that. um, Oh, Lord, please. Oh, God, here we go. Oh, Lord. Thurgood Marshall. Let's go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Thurgood Marshall. Lord have mercy. I can't see it. Ichabod Crane looking up. Well, <laughs> and these folks are still talking. We ain't said nothing. Nothing about and they still talking. Still talking. And I'm it's laughing. I am too. It's funny. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely funny. But uh, but Tim Norman, go to jail, go to hell. Nobody's thinking about you. To this, oh. Listen to me. This old ass queen that they keep dragging all around the UK. Uh, y'all need Some of y'all need to read some history books and find out who this family is and where this queen came from. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't understand this. And you know, they, I'm, let, let me say, and hopefully I can articulate this well and get this mm -hmm. out. Mm -hmm. I happen to be watching a, I think it was frontline or something, mm -hmm. uh, yesterday. And the woman was trying to big up the queen talking about how nice she was and how kind she was and how, how frugal she was. The lady actually tried to call the queen of England frugal. She said she was so frugal that she would put lemon slices back on the tray when she didn't uh, when she didn't use them or when they weren't being used. She would put them back on the serving tray. But and she I, got a but she got a crown on with a two billion dollar diamond in the middle of it. But okay. and but Daryl, you being served and 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 you understand what I'm saying. And just because mm -hmm. you put two lemon slices back on the tray, don't mean that you. You understand what I'm saying? It's the reinvention of history, how these people love to reinvent history that drives me insane. This queen and her atrocities and the things that her father did, her her, her uncle, you know, all of those people that allow her down her lineage, it's disgusting. Mm -hmm. And and it's disgusting. And if you read some of the comments in the tweet, the tweets that Black Twitter's been going in on this woman, y'all will know that folks is fully aware. This is what I think they don't understand. We live in two different Americas. They bankrolled apartheid among yeah. other countries. They're not the only country, but well, we live in two different worlds. They live in a world where I don't know where it exists. And then we have the world over here where they done, you know, done all these atrocities and now we're aware of it. Oh, let's not even talk about the inbreeding. That's why her and her uh her her son and all of them look so ugly and their teeth is all jacked up. I'm just saying that's why everybody's so ugly and oh, the teeth shit. is messed hold up. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> I'm just saying, Daryl, come on. Prince Charles looks a whole hot mess. He looks a whole hot mess. And then uh, Camilla Parker Bowles, the woman that he done had that affair with the whole time that they was married, she looked like, and they, and they call her the uh, the Duchess of Cornwall. That was what her original title was before Queen Elizabeth died. They should have called her the Duchess of Corn on the Cob. This bitch is ugly. This bitch is ugly. And you cheated on Diana, Princess Diana, the whole time you were married for this cornball, corn on the cob looking woman. I don't get it. I just don't get it. I happen to know about a lot of uh, this. 
Mm-hmm. It's a lot of exploration and not molestation going mm-hmm. on across the international waters. And, and oh, and then let me. Well, I need to go. I'll say that at the end of the program. I'll say that at the end. Go ahead, uh, man. No, 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 I'm not get myself together because I'm trying not to laugh out loud. Okay, let me. Well, I might send you over the top. Okay, well, let me mute myself so I don't. Let me just me let me, let me just on. say this. You can't in one breath say you was molested. And then in the next breath, put a smile on your face and talk about putting balls and penises in your mouth. And then when people highlight that, go back and say, oh, no, I was talking about my molestation. No, you was not. And and people would have a brain. No, you're not talking about being molested. You're talking about having sex with men. It's just that simple. And and I'll just leave it at that. But I, I hate how people keep trying to use this molestation thing to justify other people's behaviors mm-hmm. and, and then turn around and then get mad at other people who highlight that. And then they try to use this thing like, oh, you're homophobic. Let me let me let me get very clear. You just gay. Be- no, no, but just because somebody talks about that does mm-hmm. not make them homophobic. If somebody highlights words that come out of your mouth and the things that you say, and you just happen to be a, a bi, tri kind of guy, guy, you know, doesn't necessarily mean that people are homophobic. And people need to stop doing that. And they put those things out there to try and ruin people's reputation and ruin people because people don't necessarily, you know, follow along the pattern of their bullshit. And if I don't follow along the pattern of your bullshit, don't get mad at me. You know, when I highlight the bullshit, don't get mad. Absolutely. 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 Use gay. And I'm sorry. If you licking shit and sucking dicks. Use gay. No wonder you got so many throat issues and 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 face issues and you know mm-hmm. sweating. And doctors telling you you gotta take a six month rest break. <laughs> I'm so over these people. Cause, cause, I mean, it's a lie on top of a lie on top. Oh, of Oh, Daryl, we done went back into it. Let's get out of this, please. I'm just saying. This thing hole I'm just is saying. so deep. You need to just go and, and take care of your house in Virginia and sit down. I just can't believe these people. I really cannot. Lord help me. Lord help me. Wiley. Lord, oh, speaking of Wiley. Oh, Father and the God. Speaking of Wiley. With me, with me, with me. You know, Wiley, it, it's, it's, you know what? I, every now and then when somebody sends me a link to one of Wiley's programs, uh-huh. what amazes me about Wiley is either Wiley is, you know, I like Wiley. No, for the I fact, don't. no, let me tell you why I like him, why I've come to like him. Because the school bus goes around and around. around. <laughs> okay. And because I recognize that, I don't, you know, it's kind of like when you, you know, those other mm-hmm. retarded the people that we had to deal with. You know what I mean? We just, oh, oh, you mean you the know? one that, that had the stomach flus and right now and monkey, when, when you monkey, know the, open when, monkey stomach. No, no, no. But when you know, when you know the, the school bus goes round and around, you have to be. You know, you have to look at people a little bit different. You understand what I'm saying? So I judge that a little bit different than I would judge a normal person, right? And I know that the school bus goes round and round. And I I don't knock the person who's 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 growing a channel with the school bus going around and round. You understand what I'm saying? Because Uh at least he's producing content and he's doing, you know Mm -hmm. what I mean? He's hanging tough with the rest of these jokers. You feel me? Right, right, right. He ain't over there talking about y'all bless the cash app because I done had three uncles die and two of my aunties and I done lost three of my fingers and I need (laughs) (laughs) You understand what I mean? He's at least He's at least producing content, and I and he's taking live phone calls. He doesn't put the whole thing together. You feel me? So I have much respect for that. I do. I have much respect, and I love the fact that, you know, even when he's being insulted, he just takes it with a grain of salt and moves right on. You feel me? He's not. He's not even hanging on to these weird old comments that these people are making. You know, and so I respect him for that. I really do. I do. I do. <sighs> I really do. I'm trying to keep it together, Lord. I do, and I and and listen here. I don't care about nobody because 
I'm, I'm just trying to, I'm just, for the sake of the comments and commenters asking us, that's why we are addressing what we're addressing. The only thing I can tell you is some of these vloggers just need to stop. Mm -hmm. But but now, in honor of the late Ryan Chandler, and now that Tasha K is out at everybody, what you was doing, sir? We was fucking. <laughs> you know, I need to get that on a clip. I need to put that on the thing. Man, we need to make. We need to let Ryan live on through that. Live thing. on we, through that. Yeah, we got to make. What y'all doing? We was fucking. Him <laughs> <laughs> Oh wow! Oh God! Oh God! But it's amazing to me these people. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna lie to you now. The amount of hatred that I'm seeing for Meghan Markle doing all of this. Now, I want y'all to pay attention to this because y'all got smart parts over here and I want to help y'all. Mm -hmm. I, want you, I, like I want you to pay attention to a, the amount of the onslaught of hatred that she's getting on black on Twitter, on TikTok, on YouTube, on, fa on, you, uh, on Facebook uh, video messenger. Watch all of these random royal channels now that are coming out. And the only thing they're concentrating on is how horrible Meghan Markle is. And I mean, it's just disgusting. It's just disgusting. And I would think that people who don't don't take baths and don't brush their teeth and all they, their mouths are raggedy and they probably stink. I just know they stink. Would not spend all of their time talking about a beautiful black woman who made it as an actress because y'all have to keep in mind that Meghan Markle made it beyond and before she married Harry. Let's get a couple of things straight. She was on a hit television show before she met Harry, right? Mm -hmm. So she was working in her craft, on her craft, in her business. So she's not some sort of little mealy mouth woman that he just so happened to scoop up in a chariot to go live out this, you know, fairy tale lifestyle. And what kind of fairy tale lifestyle is it to be to be uh, to be third or to be fourth? She knows and Harry and her are never going to reign on no throne and they don't have no control and somebody else is trying to control their entire lives, right? So why would she submit herself to that kind of foolishness and live under the tyranny of those people? Why would she do that? Mm -hmm. Why would you want to be under a microscope the rest of your days miserable when you could come to, to America? It's ridiculous. No, no thank you. Mm-mm. It's just ridiculous. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm going to put it like this. Uh, Sun kiss. These folk can do whatever they want to. Because no weapon is going to be formed against us. And it, no weapon is going to prosper. So they can do whatever they want to do. Because I choose my words very carefully. And I actually have. A, I can talk about anybody I choose to talk about. Period and point blank. I just know one thing. To quote Marcellus McMillan, monkeys have pink toes. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> and I know they go, though no, they just kid, they probably been waiting with bated breath. What they at? What they gonna say? What they gonna talk about? What they gonna come back with? Oh my lord, we gotta we gotta be ready for them. No, we don't care. Go ahead, talk about whatever you're gonna talk about. I told you I was gonna deal with y'all flying, and I did that. And that it's only the beginning. Cause I got to go salamander, salamander hunting, and it ain't gonna be pretty. Yeah, it's gonna be very interesting. I know, I know. Around Christmas time, I'm gonna enjoy all my presents. Oh, what you talking about? I'm gonna enjoy all my presents. Mm -hmm. mm. I have weathered the storm. I have taken time off to rest. Uh made some life adjustments um going in the right direction everybody over here is happier and going in the right direction and i just sat back and listened to people lie even kim is no longer with us i've listened to them lie on kim accused kim of stuff that's just outright just outright ridiculous and i know for a fact that kim didn't do what they said Accuse her of calling family and children service. I call, not Kim, but you ain't got that kind of power to, to get come at me because you know I'm gonna come back. So you pick with somebody that you figure. And you no can matter how it. many times you say that, they still. I said it. Her. I must have said it seven times. 
I was the one that called and going to continue to call as long as you smoking the reefers in front of your kid and drinking that right good wine. You're a poor excuse for a human being. Stop lying on Kim. Kim has never reported you to anybody. I did. Yeah. And I, in fact, when I called to report, I gave him my name, my real entire name, Daryl Dwayne Moore Sr. Here's my phone number. Would you like my email? The label was so shocked. She said, no, no, I said, no, put it down for your records. <laughs> I said, put it down. I said, I ain't got nothing to hide because everything I'm telling you is the truth. Yeah, because ain't got you're nothing not, to hide. it's not like you're calling somebody's job trying to get them fired, giving fake names and doing Yeah, like Lisa foolish. Johnson. But you yeah. can answer to that, Lisa Johnson, in an open courtroom. Then you gotta come. And if you and if you show up, you know you got warrants, so you're gonna go to jail that same day. Praise God. <clears throat> well, you know, all I can say is God bless them. I just feel like, you know, they just they don't know what to do with themselves. They don't know what to do with themselves. Mm. Just don't know what to do with themselves. Mm-mm. So, uh, oh, what I want to tell you, man. God dang it. Hold on. My mind. My, uh, this dog. Sometime I do all jokes aside. Oh, sometime and by I, the way, Queen Elizabeth dying is not news. I just, so I don't know why this is news. Now, if she get up out of this damn wooden ass box and start walking around again, I, that's I, news. I, I, I'm going high. Yeah, that but means- that's news. The the fact that a that a what is she ninety some years old? She uh, was ninety six years yeah, old. Yeah, give me a break. A ninety some year old woman died, and y'all was sitting around walking around like this is news. Please give me a break. Mm-hmm. And uh, Lord, these people go crazy if you say something about this queen. You know, there are people actually will fight you about that woman, which is crazy. Oh, but let me tell you what was funny though, Marcel. I was watching CNN. And when she died, they walked up and put a microphone in this lady's face, young, younger uh, British lady. She said, well, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't care one way at all. I don't like the royals anyway, especially after what Andrew did on that island with the, and, and before that, they cut away from her so quick. I said, sure they did. <laughs> I holler. But then they walked up to this white couple that was behind the, the other, the British lady. And they happen to be of all places. They were on vacation from America and they were from Cleveland. And they were like, this just ruins our whole vacation. We were planning to go to the palace and da 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 and take pictures. And I don't think we want to be down there now. I said, well, and they went back to you in the studio. And that woman shut down and said, I don't like the <laughs> entire royal family, especially after what Andrew did to those underage girls on that island with uh, uh, whatever his name was, Epstein, uh, whatever mm-hmm. his name. And boy, they cut away from her so quick. And she, she was like, I'm not a fan of the stuffy royal family anyway. I was like, oh yeah, me neither. I don't I don't understand. I don't understand why black people is over here caping for a woman that did all the crap that she did, you know, just windmilling, just windmilling. You know, we got a lot of windmillers on this here internet. Why can't people learn? Listen, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you another profound statement. Listen up, because I know you're listening. Listen, one of my famous sayings that I've said for years and years, and I want you to listen to me very carefully. One of the loneliest places to be in the world is to be a man who stands on his own convictions. Oh, boy. Martin Luther King took it a step further. He said, it's not where you stand in times of comfort, but where you stand in times of adversity. Right, right. I ain't Martin, but I'm Marcellus. And I tell you, there the, you lonely, go. the loneliest place to be is a man who stands on his own conviction. So you need to be a man of conviction. You need to learn how to become a man of conviction. You know, when you learn to stand on the truth and stand on what you really, truly believe in, you don't need other people to win meal for you or fight for you. I can stand amongst an entire herd running up against me as long as I know I'm telling the truth and I'm doing and I have a good heart. I don't have to I don't need people co-signing for me and windmilling for me and doing all of that other kind of stuff. That's why when you. Oh, yes. With green wigs on, I don't have to have any entourage. uh, (laughs) In a green wigs and and blouses, doing like this. Oh, we're doing this. Yeah, no, you got a lot you doing. This show ain't ain't no wee wee. Ain't no French over there. Oh lord, oh, wee wee. And... Uh huh. Oh lord. All I can I... tell you. Pray I'm for I'm us. Yes, Lord. Imagine somebody windmilling for you, and they ain't even welcome at your dinner table. Oh no. It's kind of really, really, really strange, the alliances on YouTube. You know, these people won't even bring you. They'll never stand you up in front of their so-called church. Mm -mm. They're embarrassed. They're embarrassed. You couldn't even get an invite 
to the conference and you out here tell me you working with security to make sure I don't show up and you wasn't even invited to the blue room, the green room, the black room, damn other room. Mm. You wasn't even invited to the city. You couldn't even go out to get you a to go plate. And you know, you bad off. Yeah. But I tell you, it's, it's a very, it's a, these strange alliances is very interesting. That's why I told you why and Roxanne, we going to do what we do over here. I ain't looking for no new friends. Uh, I'm no, nope. I'm just not doing it because these people is crazy, uh, as a nuttier than squirrel shit, crazy and selfish. You know, they'll shoot themselves in the foot. You know, you ain't even making no real money, and you over here shooting yourself in the foot with people that could probably help you. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, it's could weird. Help get, could help you get your driver's license back. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> oh shit. I said it out loud. Ah! Can help you get your driver's license. Can help you stay in that apartment in Jersey City versus going back to the Bronx in the basement. Uh oh. Mm, could have helped you. Could have helped you. Got your outstanding warrants taken care of. Hold on one second. I gotta take this. This is my mama. Keep talking. All right. I am keep gonna talking. keep talking. Listen here, y'all. This whole situation on this here internet has definitely given me a time of reflection. Um, it just really has. And I've just been looking back going, thank you, Jesus. I'm really grateful. I'm so grateful for every single one of you guys in this chat. Y'all have helped me through a whole lot of stuff. And y'all just don't realize how much. I don't talk about it a lot. But you guys, you guys have really, really helped Daryl and I. And I just have to say thank you again. You know, for all you guys' love and support, I really do appreciate it. You know, I really, truly do. You know, and uh, so it is what it is. But, yeah, going around the Internet, making these false alliances. And look, if, you, if you're thinking about starting a channel or if you have a channel, be careful who you bring up on your platform. On your channel, be really careful because mm -hmm. these same mm -hmm. people that you will have on your platform one day will be cussing you out tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I'm just cussing saying. you all out and, and putting up that about your sex activities. Oh. Yeah, be careful. Just be careful. And if you really building your channel, see, I take pride. And the reason, one of the reasons why I like Armand so much, Armand just got to work. And he yeah. built his own stuff. Even while they was trying to tear him down, and talk bad about him. Armand just put in the work. That's why I have much respect for Armand Wiggins. He just did the work. Yes, Go do did. your work. Yes, he did. Simple as that. Mm -hmm. And he, even though you know he he gets upset, and him and Tasha had that situation, but they still be talking behind the scenes because she got to respect a man who can build his own platform and to cuss you out in front of your face and tell you he don't need you. You understand mm -hmm. the same thing I told Dr. Dingleberry when he tried to convince himself that I needed him to build a platform. I was 12,000 strong and kicking ass and on my way to doing what I was going to do. Right. Mm -hmm. I didn't need no don't need you for nothing. How dare you? Mm -hmm. Who do you think you are? Well, I can sit back now. I ain't got to worry about 20 million dollars, though. Well, I, I know one thing. I, I got, got hold 20, on. I got twenty million problems and a lawsuit ain't well, one. Ain't of one of them. But I can let you borrow something over there because you're gonna have to make a lot of arts and crafts, <laughs> <laughs> and you're gonna need some good power tools to put them arts and crafts together <laughs> to cover your legal fees. And for those of you who don't need craft selling to cover your legal fee, I know you like uh, battery power instruments. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh God, have mercy! Put it in reverse. Fast forward. Put it in reverse. Fast forward. You know these people. Oh, I can't wait till I can freely talk how I want to talk, and it's you coming. Can talk how you want. No, no, shit. no, not yet, not yet, not yet. Because you know I got some things that I'm doing. Uh, not yet. So I got to be careful what I say. Uh, but you know, Lord, have mercy. Hey, and people out here with uh. Evangelist out here with uh special 13 nine, 114 no, no. 1499 nine. 1499 not 14 dollars and 99 cents for one thousand four hundred and ninety nine dollars 
For what? Prayer water, water or healing no, water? No, listen or... here. Listen here. You get oh, a prayer shawl. Water? You get seven sessions with her. I'm about to break it down. Oh, kind of like them sessions I was discussing back in the day where people are charging, starting at the 1500 and up to the 5000 Oh, yeah, All kind of stuff. But you get a prayer cloth. Uh, let me know. No, you get a prayer cloth, a prayer shawl. I'm sorry. Some anointing oil, seven sessions with her, a binder, and a tote bag. And, you know, you get these seven sessions with her. Uh, some communion wafers and grape juice. Let me tell you something. If y'all don't stop giving these people y'all damn money, y'all need to wake the hell up. Lord Jesus. I wouldn't give Juanita Bynum a hard piece of that pal gum. You remember that pal gum that we used to do? Damn, chew not the pal gum. You, you remember the pal gum? <laughs> they used to have a cartoon on it. No, the yeah. bazooka. The yeah, bazooka that shit, gum. yeah, that shit that was shit so was hard. hard as a break. Yeah, it was hard as a rock, that charge you with aggravated assault, you hit somebody in the head with that damn bazooka gum. But, them, car- but her and them Bynamites, I, oh. I call them the Bynamites. They're the church version of the, uh, the, uh, the beehive. beehive. Yeah, the beehive, but she got the Bynamites. And them Bynamites, I tell you, I can't. They just like the Jebusites, the Hittites, uh, you know, all them other ites. Them mm. Bynamites is something else, boy. And y'all just, they just fall into it every single time. Just every single time. Mm-hmm. But you know that, let's say P.T. Bottom, there's one born every minute that's called oh, yeah. a sucker. And that's what they got over there. So, But see, when you, your your base audience is well, got a seventh grade education, you can pull off them kind of scams and hustle. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because my thing is, and then she had this thing, she's going to have a mantling service where she's going to put a mantle on you. And my thing is this. Wait a minute. What? Who gave you? Who? What? You don't even have a mantle you can give. You got to have one uh, first. What, what's that boy that said? I want your oil. Oh, uh, that's John Hanna. John Hanna. Okay. Now I'm trying to because I don't know the church stuff. So I'm gonna get in the car for this because I got I gotta go down here and pick up some money. But I'm gonna still be on this show. But I want you to talk about that Stevenson man that uh, uh I don't know the whole story about that. We oh, okay. We got on. we got we gotta pick that up next week then. Cause uh remember that lady I sent you the link with the uh lady that's about to sue uh what's her name? And, and she used to work under Stevenson. Mm. Oh yeah, oh yeah. She what's her name? Jernigan, like the lotion. Oh yeah. Lord, I don't forgot. Oh bro, I sent you that video. You gotta watch that. Okay, that lady. That lady was like, yeah. She. Like, oh, I gotta watch. It. She 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 next in line to serve some papers. Mm. And, but if you're out there, uh, sister, I if you want to contact me, I I got you a little. Little information there uh, that might be uh, to your benefit and for your, <laughs> for your edification. Amen. Well, there's some. Well, just so that y'all know what we're talking about with this Matthew Stevenson, a lot of his pastors are resigning uh, on all of these Anwa churches that he have. A lot of them just out of the blue now. Everybody resigning and leaving his organization. Holy and, and it is it is a- allegedly or it is rumored to be we don't i don't have proof of this but someone has come to me and talked to me about a sex tape it um, was reported to me. uh i don't know if it's true or not i don't have no proof of it so i'm letting you know this out now uh but that's what it, it was said to me now if there is true that there is a sex tape and all of these preachers are leaving because of it they show keeping this on the hush hush uh, but you know, ain't nothing, ain't nothing gonna stay hidden for too long, especially with some of these other vloggers. You know, once they get their hands on it, you know, it's gonna be in a Patreon somewhere, mm-hmm. and y'all'll be paying to watch the porn. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, you know, you gotta mute one of them so you don't be echoing. I didn't cut it off. Yeah, but you echoing. You need to mute or turn the volume. There you go. There you go. Yeah, I, I cut the volume down. But because yeah, I'm about to get in the car. Yeah. Uh. So yes. 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 And uh. Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh Lord. So yeah, it's gonna be interesting, you guys. Somebody said I allegedly saw the tape, but I can't confirm the tattoos. Oh Lord. Quiet storm. Say what? 
I well, I wouldn't know what the tattoos look like either because I don't be paying people attention like that. Quiet storm. Where did you get this information from? And who had the video? Oh my lord. Uh, by the way, you guys need to join our Facebook group. We're gonna open it up to everybody. We just don't give a care who it is, who comes in there now. Cause if y'all act a fool, we just gonna throw your asses out. Um, but y'all need to y'all need to go find our Facebook group and come on in there. Lord have mercy. Oh, Quiet Storm says Twitter, of course. Yeah, I know. Twitter seems to be coming like the porn capital of the world. What is going on with Twitter? They don't have no standards over there. What's going on with Twitter? What's been trying to find? And I ain't going to lie because I ran across a few websites myself. I was like, Jesus. And when the web and when the videos finished, I was like, I can't be over here watching this stuff. <laughs> Notice I said when the video finished. <laughs> I was like, let me get off of here. Oh, Lord. I was like, oh, God. I just could not believe it. I, some of the stuff that I'm seeing. Mm -mm. Oh, Lord, have mercy. This is something else. But listen here, you all. Uh, y'all just keep y'all ear to the ground. Uh, you know, and a, we'll have a couple, we'll have some good news and some information to share with y'all, uh, real soon. And we're going to shut the mouth of every lion. I promise you that. And all those who are lying. So just y'all keep y'all ear to the ground and y'all need to join the Facebook group. We're just going to let you in. And even though, even you looky lose, y'all come on in there, but just don't come in there trying to start no mess. Cause leave that old stuff behind and leave that stuff behind and let the Lord bless us and move on into the future i'll try to find a link for y'all if i can let me find the link to this darn group you know y'all come on in there so if you're not in the facebook group go ahead and send us a a request and we'll go on and put you put your butt on in there Mm hmm. I'm reading y'all comments. I'm sorry. Oh, Lord. So they done moved the porn to OnlyFans, huh? Lord, have mercy. Hey, Marcellus. Yes, sir. Didn't somebody that, that, was, that was out here that's now facing a $20 million lawsuit, ain't they got OnlyFans? Yeah, they do. Well, they did have one at one particular time. They're going to have to up their membership. Mm hmm. Let Mookie will. What? Somebody said something about him? I don't. Where did you see that at? Oh, hold on. Hold on. I had a lot going on, brother. Okay. Let me stop. I start cutting up. Uh, so who's suing Betty Yellick? Is um uh Stevenson suing? Who's suing? Now I'm reading y'all comments. I don't even know who's suing. Father, what? See, I don't be paying attention. I be working too darn much. Let me see what's going on over here. Yeah, well, Tasha K. Ben said she was in Africa, if that's what you're talking about. Um, so Whitehead. Yeah, yeah, Whitehead's supposed to be suing, you know, all these folks. But I, like I said, that, that lawsuit ain't going to go nowhere. Just like I told y'all, all that unmuzzled crap ain't going nowhere. They can just stop. But they still trying. Folks is still posting stuff like that unmuzzled mess. Is, I'll be glad when they get muzzled. That preacher just need to go on and muzzle their darn mouths. That's what they need to be. Um, <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah.
Yeah, I know. That's what I heard, Angie. I heard that. Hey, I'm saying she in, in my. Said, Hello? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, they said she was in Mali, but I, I heard Morocco. So which is one of them? No, she said maybe she was traveling. Africa. That's what she yeah, said. She maybe might she be traveling running. around. Mm-hmm. Running. Hauling air. Oh, this seat is going to my nerves, Jesus. Mm. Oh. oh Lord, so, Sherry. Well, what? your your granddaughter don't know how crazy I am. Uh, she just better hang tight and pay attention to these here lives, cause y'all ain't seen nothing yet. By the end of the year, I'm gonna be wide open, and some folks is gonna be too super mad, cause I'm gonna be unmuzzled them and show them to be exactly who they are. So just just stay tuned. <clears throat> Oh, they're going to cry in that car. Oh, let me tell y'all something. Yeah, uh, this ain't got nothing to do with what we're talking about, but for those of you get with your car that just bought cars recently, go inside the driver's side door and look at the size tires that are supposed to be on your car and compare it to what size tires are actually on your car. Because I found out I've had, I had to spend $600 today for some new tires all the way around my car. When I bought this car, they had the side tire on there that was too big because I always noticed. I have I to got stop t- you. Wait, can I stop you? Because you just said something that just got me cracking up. <laughs> no, I'm about to tell you. Oh, Darryl, wait, tell you. Darryl, wait, wait. Oh, was shit. the tires not supposed to be all the way around your car? <laughs> no, no, let me explain to you. I had the wrong size tires. I know, crazy, but it's the way you said it. You said it like the tires ain't supposed to be all the way around the car. What are you supposed okay, to do? Okay, well, that's what I meant. That ain't what lost in translation, damn it. So the tires I had on my car were too big. So like when I would set my cruise control, I'm thinking I'm doing one speed, and I'm actually faster than I was supposed to be because the tires are bigger. So I got a ticket once on the turnpike driving to Pennsylvania, I thought I had my cruise control set on 75, but they clocked me doing 84. Mm. So, yeah, so I got hit. I was like, damn, this car moving qu- pretty quick for 60 or whatever the case may be. So the guy said, no. He said, see, he opened the door in the driver's side door. It tells you the size tire your car is supposed to have. Correct. If you get it, and if you get anything bigger than that, it's going to throw your uh, speedometer off, and it could damage the wheel bearing. It could damage your car. But it's not just that, too. Most of our cars are computerized, right? And so right. every every now and then, you have to have your, com- your computer needs to be updated in order or calibrated in order for your system to work properly. Because I had to take my car um, to get it recalibrated because uh, the computer system will also do that to you as well. So that's why if I put my cruise control, let's say you put your con- cruise control on 78. Uh-huh. Just understand, sometimes you might be going 79, 80, so you really need to rest it at about 75, 76. And uh-huh. you, can, you can tell you can tell when you're driving your vehicle, you know, if you're used to your car, you can tell, wait a minute, this speed is off. And you can tell, uh-huh. especially if you're used to driving your car, you'll know when the speed is off. Yes, sir. And I said, some this ain't right. And I kept saying, I, uh, you know, I said, when the guy showed me that, I was so angry. Because when I bought the car from the dealership, they already had the wrong set of tires on it. So when I got the right set of tires today, man, I hit the freeway. This jump would jump out, and I'm rolling. I would have went back to that darn dealership, and I would have been like, excuse me. I'm sorry. Because I I was under warranty. Mm -hmm. So, yes, I'm going that. Yeah, Monday afternoon after work, I've already made an appointment. In fact, I'm going to go tomorrow. I'm going to go tomorrow. I'm going to surprise the ass. I'm like, get the manager out here. Get the owner. Yeah, because that's not not cool. Mm-hmm. And I got a letter from the, the tire tire place showing that the wrong size tires on my car, and those are the tires that were on my car when I bought it. And, and funny thing, when you buy a car, they list stuff like that in the description of the vehicle, what size tires you got, all that stuff. So they knew they sold me a car that had the wrong size tires on it. They could have right. done. It. And my car's front wheel drive could have ruined the axle, could ruin everything. Right. And you know what, Sunkiss? This is going far beyond maintenance because sometimes you can maintenance your car just fine, but you'll still have these types of issues if you're not paying attention. And, mm-hmm. and sometimes, like I said, it's a computer problem. It's not a maintenance problem. Mm-hmm. My, my whole thing is run by a computer. 
uh, everything, the radio, my radio doesn't have no knobs on it. It's just all touch finger, right. like a, a screen. I just hit it, boom, 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 and I can even operate it from my steering wheel. Everything's digital. So well, maybe that's that prophecy to... that Kimberly Brown gave you. Oh, you know, Lord, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> With my 450 credit score, was it 490? I forget which one it was. Maybe they were smoking the reefers over there, and it's the 420. But you know what, Daryl, real talk, and I'm not saying this just to be saying this, but I'm watching all of these people that did all of this dirt, and they be doing all this talking about us, mm -hmm. and all of these people that in their families, you know, so that, that so much stuff has happened with their people, but they went over here lying about other people and saying all these mean things and giving out all these fake prophecies and carrying on, you know, mm -hmm. so I'm not even surprised. I'm not even mm -hmm. surprised. I so they show enough catching it. Hold oh, my mule while I shout right now. I know. Mm -hmm. I know. I just look at. I just look at them, po fool. That woman down there hit me. Oh, you! That woman almost ran in the back of my car with a dang dealer tag still on her car, and I just spent six hundred dollars on some tires. I ought to slap the, the Jesus out of her. Yeah, well, she hopefully she had insurance. You wouldn't even have to. You let the court oh, slap yeah, her. Yeah, no, I got in an accident for real, though, last month, right? Yeah, I think you told me that. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm seeing a chiropractor now. I'm actually going to a chiropractor right now because of it. Three yeah. times a week. Get yeah. my back popped. Now, I like that, though. That woman that popped my back, she's not even... Yep. Well, Dream Doll, just pay attention and stay subscribed to the channel. I don't. Uh, I'm not making any announcements around around that just yet. Um, just hang on. Y'all might be hanging on a little longer because I got some other things that I'm trying to do that I don't uh, that I need to put into place um, be legally. Be right back. Be right back. Yeah. So yeah. just hang on. And I'm sorry to have you guys waiting so long. You know, it is what it is, though. <laughs> yes, it is, Betty Yellick. Yes, it is. And I ain't even calling this payback because you I, I didn't even do anything to deserve these fools to be doing what they were doing. But it is what it is. I know what I said, Dream Doll. I know exactly what I said. I know. I know what I said. That's what I'm informing you of. So you will know to just hang on. Okay? In the words of Tabitha Brown, because that's my business. <laughs> so I'm just letting you know to hang on. That's all. I appreciate you asking the question, though. Thank you for caring. I do. <laughs> I love Tabitha Brown, by the way. Because Tabitha, she just, she reminded me of the, my, well, she was my grandmother. Um, she just, the way she spoke to you, she could get you straight with a smile on her face and Tabitha can show, get you straight with a smile straight on her face. And I love her for that. I really do. And they keep trying to make Tabitha into somebody she's not. No, the reason why we love Tabitha is because of who she is. Um, and to be honest with you guys, when I come, I want to make sure that I come correct, uh, to tell you all the truth. Let me just give you a little bit of information. Let me give you, I'll give you a little piece of information. Oh, my plan is that when I re-emerge that my, my new studio and everything that I need will be, will be done. Um, so you all just, just hang tight. Okay. You may have to wait a little bit longer, but Hey, it is what it is. But I promise you when we come, when, when I come back, we're going to be going like 90 million thousand miles fast. Y'all going to be like, oh, Marcellus is doing way more than what we expected. Um, so y'all are going to be, you know, y'all going to be surprised. And y'all going to be surprised at some other stuff that uh, I'm going to be doing too. So it's going to be great. I don't want to say too much because I don't want the haters to to know where what I'm doing. But yeah, it's going to be awesome. <clears throat> Mm, 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 mm. All right, I'm back. I'm back. Sorry about that. How far you gotta go to pick up this money? Oh, I, I'm, I had to make a stop first, but I'm, I'm right around the corner. You know, at my job, my oh, other okay. job. You know, oh, I work okay. several. Oh, all right. The one, the one that uh, the salamander didn't get me fired from, so she claimed. Mm. <laughs> mm. You know, they ought to be ashamed of themselves. And why would they brag about trying to get some? You know, here's a funny thing, too. Here's a funny you ain't thing. Got no, job. 
No, no, no. But here's here's the funny thing. I have never tried to get anyone fired. I have never called anyone's place of business. I've never done any of those things. I don't understand people's fascination with bothering people. I don't want to mess up nobody's they're evil money. Because they're evil, Marcellus. It's just even if I don't like you, I don't want to mess up your money. You feel me? But you're not evil. That's the thing you got to realize. You keep you keep looking at people through your lens. You're a nice person. They're not. Mm. You got mm. God in you. I don't get it. I don't get they it. They got wine and reefers in them. Well, and here's another thing they don't understand. When you have strength of character, your character speaks for you. So even though somebody could lie on you and say a whole bunch of uh, madness about you, people who know you, they don't fall behind that fool. Them foolishness, they don't fall behind that foolishness. They be like, they'll they'll call and be like, here goes another dummy. They're, mm -hmm. they're at it again. And you're just like, oh, here we go. Mm -hmm. Yep. They sure will. We've been out here 90 minutes off and on. I've been making two stops and everything. But mm -hmm. well, that's us. Some, let me read this. Cammy Mitchell says, yeah, Food Network pissed us off when they changed their schedule. It's okay, though. Auntie Tab is love. She sure is. Everybody. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I made it to my spot. I'm so glad y'all didn't give up on us, even though we were gone all summer and everything. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. People with no business do stuff like that. Yeah, I agree. I Whoa, agree. wait a minute. Wait a minute, Dream Dog. What you say, Baby Girl? <laughs> oh. oh. That, did she say that or did somebody else say that? I, I, well, I got to see confirmation there. Yeah, so there I it is. I'm throwing a goddamn party tomorrow. And I'm going to contact that girl if I have to send smoke signals up in there. I'm going to give her everything I got. To get that demon. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, I would have to. I would. Yeah, we got to confirm that because people can say a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, uh, it would be lovely because he did make a whole video come out in defense of his boo boo thing. And how much, what, what's the name of that website that, that people go to get all those court documents again? What is the name of that? Uh, oh, 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 damn. You know the name of that website again? Don't start with a P. It starts with a P, right? Oh, oh shoot. Hold on. I got the app I just said it on. earlier in the show. Uh, What's the name of that darn website people be going to get all the court documents? Oh, from? Pacer. Pacer. How much is Pacer a year to get access to those files? They give you so many copies a, a month for free. As long as it's under 10 pages, you get, get it for free. Okay. Uh, well, I, I, need, I, I, can, I, I get you. Sign, you just tell me. Okay, because I need to sign up. I won't. I won't. Uh, I won't. Brian Carn. I need Brian Carnes and uh, uh, oh, oh, uh, Senegal. Senegal. No, Senegal. I need their case. Why are you calling Senegal? You going to Yes, this is his name. Um, I need that one, and then we can look up the other ones to see if they, anybody else has filed any any legitimate court uh, mm -hmm. documentation. Because I do want to talk about uh, that whole court case between Senegal and uh, and Brian Carn, because it's a very interesting story. Once you, if you guys break it all down and you understand what's being uh, <clears throat> what's going on. Mm -hmm. um, Quiet Storm. I really haven't been watching a lot of television. I'll be really honest with you. Um, I haven't really been watching a lot of TV. Um, I really haven't. I've been I've been very very. Uh, what's the word for it? I've been going through a very rough time. I'll just put it that way. Um, so I haven't really been watching a lot of TV and and documentaries. But y'all pray for me. Just keep praying for me. That's all I can say. I'm gonna leave it there. I'm gonna leave it there. Mm -mm. Oh Lord, I just love. Uh, I don't even know how to pronounce your, your name. Is it Hora Hor Hora Drizel Drizel Drizdale? I don't know Drizdale, Miss Drizdale. Uh, I'm just letting you know, Daryl. You got a you got a fan over here, Miss Drizdale. She's a sweetheart. Yes, yeah, she is. Just She's want to make sure I She's point that out. She's so sweet. Now, Brian, what you mean, Linda Jernigan Anwa? What's going on with Linda? 
That was the lady I was telling you about that's uh suing uh that's about to sue uh Dingleberry. Really? Yeah, that's what I'm telling you. That's what I was telling about. She used to work for Matthew Stevenson. What in the world is going on with them? I don't keep up. Oh with man, she stuff. she told she her video that I sent you. She said only thing I'm gonna make this go away is a public apology, and you write that check. And where is the uh? Where is the which did you send it in the private chat or? In I the sent it chat? in the uh the moderated chat. I sent it to y'all in the moderated chat. If you scroll up, how she long ago was it that you sent it? Uh, this week she talked for oh, I, almost, I got almost two hours. This. Father, oh, brother, the I be busy. Oh, you brother, she let him have it. She called him a P-U-N-C-K. <laughs> <laughs> Not the P-U-N-K, but the P-U-N-C-K. Punk. Oh man, that's crazy. Why can't um, these people just lead? Uh, listen, you could tell your stories without bothering these folks. We okay. tried to do that, but folks just got mad because we was good at what we were doing. Uh huh. And they just Sorry. mad because when you do your research, it don't matter. Folks just get uh -huh. upset. <laughs> uh -huh. Yep. So y'all, I'm going to here and get my things. And All I right, we done. We done. Listen, before we go. Uh, y'all make sure y'all bless the cash app be, uh, cause y'all know we do need, we need y'all support. Keep these shows going. Um, mm -hmm. also we need to change our, Daryl needs to change his greeting on his, uh, and, and redo some stuff on his show. So yeah. y'all, you know, it's rebranding time. Yeah. So y'all need to send Daryl some support for that. Um, and then we're going to have to work on that, getting all of that stuff done, but mm -hmm. I appreciate y'all. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Uh, make sure y'all get ready for us. Uh, we'll be back next week talking about a whole bunch of mess. And uh, all I can say is John Jacob Dingleberry. <laughs> His name is my name, too. I'm out of here. God bless oh, y'all. Yeah. Bye. Y'all are crazy, man. <laughs> I got to look for these darn videos now. Man, you got to check it out, brother. All right.